Okay, hi everyone, welcome back and in this video we are going to check out BTC's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott waves, classic technical analysis and also indicators. Now, I still believe that the long term scenario in Bitcoin is going to be absolutely 100% bullish because in terms of Elliott waves, if you want to be bullish on any chart, you need to be able to find a 1 two three four five wave impulsive structure on the upside we can have different kinds of five waves this thing right in here is a normal one the rules for it are we shouldn't have overlapping of the waves between wave two and wave four and in any kind of impulsive structure wave three right in here shouldn't be the smallest wave and for the sub waves as you can see five up into wave one three and five and for corrections for wave two and four different scenarios are possible let's say show a w x y structure into wave four and an a b c into wave two understood nice because i think we may actually have something like this in btc going on and let's zoom a bit more there we go okay what do we have off of the lowest low as we can see a one two three four five wave on the upside with all the sub waves for it into a larger degree wave one after it, this is going to be, I believe, a WXY, a correction structure into wave 2, and from here to somewhere around the high side in this area, about, let's say, 74k, I think we may have our wave 3, and follow by that. I still absolutely 100% believe that whatever move that we are having in here is just going to be a correction structure into this wave 4, and after it's over, we are going to get, hopefully, another big move up into this wave 5 right in here in an attempt to at least at least set an all-time high and take the high side in this area about 74k for the first target and i just do not believe that we are going to stop here now i think a better target can be somewhere around 90 to potentially even 100k even higher and that's why i am going to remain bullish in bitcoin as long as i'm not proven otherwise now let's go on another chart i believe it was on coinbase there we go okay you see like we said earlier this is one two three four five on the upside into this larger to be wave three and follow by that we are having in here a correction structure for four if we remember in the previous videos in bitcoin we were saying well okay maybe this is going to be a w x y in form of a double zigzag into wave four to somewhere at this point and from here we can actually identify a five wave on the upside in order for us to be able to say that maybe this point right in here is actually the end of our wave four and from here we may have for example a one and a two and followed by that we're gonna have a big move up into wave three and four and five however as you can see in the recent moves on the downside we actually took the lowest slope in here and that means that we are still in a correction structure into this wave four and our move down may not be over yet now if we remember the last time that we talked about btc we were right around this area i believe and i said look about here between let's say 56 to about 56 and a half k we are having a very very important support area from weekly and daily time frame at the same time so if you want to get a move on the upside in bitcoin we can actually get it from this area and hopefully we're not going to get a break of it because if we do at that point this move down is going to actually continue to somewhere around the next important region between let's say 49 and a half to about fifty thousand dollars now Here's a question. Does this move on the outside right in here mean that we broke the support? In my opinion, no. You see, this area, like we said earlier, is from weekly and daily time frame at the same time. And if you want to say that this is broken, you need to go on weekly chart and see a candle close and initial move under this region followed by that. A pullback to the broken area and then after it, a continuation of the move down in an attempt to take the slope. And based on that, let's go on weekly chart zoom in a bit more in here excuse me there we go okay what do we have as you can see we're not actually even having a solid candle close under this area sure you might be able to argue that this is a candle close under this region but again i'm going to say it we need like a solid candle close for example if we get a red candle in btc in the next coming weeks and for example it's going to close somewhere around this area well okay at that point fair enough we are getting a candle close but even that this region is not going to be considered as broken. No, we need to see after it a pullback and then a continuation of the move down. And as you can see, because we're not having it right now, 
I'm going to argue that this support is not broken yet and there is still a chance of having a solid bounce back in BTC's price chart. Now, here is a very important point and I need you to pay full attention to what I'm about to say. See, I am not convinced at the moment that this move down rush in here in BTC is over for two reasons. Number one comes down to Elliott waves and if I just go on 15 minute chart, zoom out a bit more, there we go. You see, I guess you can argue that this is going to be from the lowest line here, one, two, three, four, five wave on the upside and we can be bullish, fair enough. But I think we may have something like this, one, two, three, four, five wave up, followed by that, a correction on the downside to somewhere around maybe this point in form of potentially an abcs structure and in here we are going to have yet another one two three four five wave on the upside and basically in my opinion there is a chance that this pattern might be an abc zigzag up off of the low slow a correction as structure and not an impulsive movement and this means again we might actually go down in btc in an attempt to take the low slow in this area once more about let's say 53 and a half k so this was reason number one reason number two i think in terms of classic patterns we may have a triangle structure in here and here are the lines for it let's just do this excuse me there we go and this is going to be the lower line there we are let's actually do this okay now here's a very important point this pattern is not confirmed yet. If we see something like this, maybe another move down in an attempt to get a break of the lower line and followed by that a pullback and thereafter a continuation of the move down. Well, okay, at that point, this is going to be a confirmed bearish triangle and the target for it is going to be the height of our pattern. Let's measure it from, actually, let's just put the chart on regular first. There we go from this high to about here and we should put this thing at our breaking point, which as you can see, unfortunately if we get a confirmation that this is indeed a bearish triangle the next target is actually going to be all the way down here around the next important region about let's say fifty thousand dollars so you see for these two very important reasons i think right now we need to be a bit careful in btc's price chart and not say the bottom is absolutely 100 in no i think we need to be a bit more patient now what is going on in terms of indicators let's just do this there we go as you can see in weekly time frame in macd we are still having a sell signal which suggests it's a bit too soon to be bullish and in stock rsi okay we are getting a buy signal in here and this can actually be a bullish sign but here's a very important point this signal is not confirmed yet we need to wait until the end of the week and at that point if we are still going to have this signal fair enough it can be a bullish sign but if you want to go according to indicators i would like to argue that you need to wait a bit more and see a buy signal in MACD and SOC RSI at the same time and at that point fair enough we are going to be bullish but for now not yet and in daily time frame what is happening as you can see we are having basically the same situation a sell signal in MACD and a buy signal in SOC RSI so you see in terms of indicators we're not having a whole lot of bullish signs at the moment in order for us to be able to say that maybe based on them we are going to get some solid moves on the upside and in terms of classic patterns we may have a triangle structure in here, but but please, please remember that this pattern is not confirmed yet. Okay, very important point. And in terms of Elliott waves, off of the low slow in this area, we may actually have an ABC on the upside and not an impulsive movement, which is a bit of a bearish sign. So for now, I think we need to be a bit careful in BTC's press chart. And it's going to be very, very normal to expect another move on the downside in our time to take the low slow in here about, let's say, 53.5k. And I hope... I explained everything well and you understood what is going on in Bitcoin. Anyway, if you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And if you want more, maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some solid TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.